Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys how to invoice businesses, your clients, customers uh, via Stripe natively without any additional extensions. So once you're on the uh, Stripe dashboard, so you'll need to log in for this, uh, you want to go to invoicing under more and you want to hit create an invoice in the top right hand side. If you're creating an invoice for an existing customer, they're gonna, their contact information is gonna be searchable. So let's say I was able to find one of my, uh, like one of my other accounts, it would be boyan.business at gmail.com. Now, if you wanna add a new customer, simply hit add new customer, boyan, sell, or you would use their uh, company name. And then in terms of the email address, I'll just use one of my dummy ones. So boyan sell 64 at gmail.com. Um, and you want to hit save new customer and for the items this is where you actually put all of the billable items so at a one-time item it could be like email marketing uh, service fee right on quantity it would just be one and then let's say we're charging five thousand pounds to this client and in terms of taxes and coupons, this is where I kind of, I don't, I don't have like the certifications to give you advice, but generally speaking, you can charge VAT on here or whatever. And then in terms of coupons, you can create new coupons directly within Stripe as well. So if you want to give a discount, right? So you hit save. And if you want to add a new item, then you would add something like, uh, I don't know, like graphic design designs for emails add item and then let's say we're doing this for this client eight times and then charging him 300 pounds per design you want to hit save and for the tax options if you were charging let's say a uk customer right for me then i would need to charge vat so that would be uh, vat new tax rate Add tax rate, sales tax, VAT, select region. I will need to select United Kingdom, all United Kingdom, 20% inclusive, exclusive. So when it comes to exclusive, so the reason why you wanna put this is, let's say your ticket price is 5,000 and you're doing B2B, generally speaking, you don't need to put ex, uh, inclusive, right? So that would just add 20% on top of what you're charging. So I'm not gonna waste my time here because this is gonna be a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, but if you were to have any applicable tax rates, you wanna make sure that's added in right here. In the memo, generally speaking, I like to invoice customers on the call. So uh, not, I don't really need to put like any type of memo here. It's just normally thanks for your business. And there's two types, right? So if you're invoicing an existing customer, then you can have, uh, you can charge a payment file that is on file payment method that is on file sorry but if you're invoicing a completely new customer and you don't have one of their cards on file you want to invoice uh, email invoice to customer with a link to the payment page and in terms of due dates you want to set this to a fairly kind of like uh, in a fairly timely manner 30 days is definitely too long generally speaking I like to do 7 to 14 days max like 7 days is uh, you want to do ideally like as little window as possible right you don't want them to, to delay it so now that you've handled all of that, you wanna hit review invoice. And oh, by the way, here, you're gonna be able to see a preview of everything, right? So review invoice, and then 7,400 to Boyan Zell, send invoice. And that's gonna be sent to my email address in literally no time. So yeah, as you can see, uh, there's a payment link for me to actually pay the invoice. And if I hit pay, it's gonna open up a browser me and it's going to allow me to pay this invoice so yeah you add they add their car details and they should be all good to go so the reason why you want to be doing this natively within stripe is because then you don't have to mess around with external softwares like simple invoices or anything along those lines uh saving you some money on a monthly basis so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you want to learn more about running online businesses please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions about how to invoice through stripe drop it as a comment Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.